Hello everyone and happy Saturday. This is Vintage Vinny and welcome to one of my drop sales. So if you're unfamiliar with a drop sale, it's basically a pre-recorded sale where I share as many items as I can in under 25 minutes. So in front of me, or like right next to me, I've got four other items, so I'm gonna try to go five at a time. And then I'm gonna put in what I need from you if you have not purchased from me before. So how the drop sale works is you claim items in the comments, and of course the first person that makes a claim will get the item. I will invoice you through PayPal. I will quote you a shipping price through Pirate Ship, and after I get all that information, I send you the invoice and you pay for it, and I ship you your items. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So the first item I'd like to share with you all is this really nice piece of glass. It's hand blown and it's got a smooth pontil on the bottom. It's got an applied handle. I assume that this is probably a piece of pilgrim glass, but I could be very, very wrong about that. I just bought it because I really liked that hint of blue. And yeah, it's a great piece. Uh, if you collect small pieces of glass like this, it would be a great addition to your collection. I'm asking $8 for it and it's number 27. $8, number 27, for the really nice piece of blue glass. And the next item I'd like to share with you all is this adorable jointed baby doll, Bisque. As you can see, you can pull the arms out and the elastic is still there. His arm's a little bit loose, but there are no cracks or chips to him. He could use a barkeeper's friend bath because he's a little bit dirty and he's got a little booty. And I'm selling him as is. And if you're interested in him, he's only $6 and he's number 38. $6, number 38 for the adorable Bisque baby doll. Now these are very, very fun. This is from 1936. It's a moth tin, like a, you put mothballs in it and it prevents moths from getting at your clothes and such like that. Nowadays, these are great to display in your um, Halloween decor or if you have an industrial theme going. These make great additions to that. Now this side is a little bit rough, but it still adds great patina and kind of like that rusty, crusty vibe that I get when I have it on this side. But if you want a little bit more of a cleaner look, this side would be great for you. I'm asking $10 for it, and it's number eight. $10, number eight, for the 1936 mothball holder. Now, I do want to mention that there are some slight dings and dents on it because this piece is well over 80 years old, but still a phenomenal piece to add to your vintage Halloween or your industrial rusty crusty collection. Now this is a really nice piece of glass. This is blue and it's kind of got like a bubble texture to it. Got the applied handle to it and it is also hand blown because there is the pontil on the bottom. Also a pitcher, no cracks or chips to it. A little bit heavy too, which is nice. I really, really like the pattern on it, like that circular bubble look. And if you happen to be interested in that, it is $12 and it's number nine. $12, number nine, for the blue pitcher. Now, I know that deer are very, very popular in our community, and I've had this guy for several months now. It's a deer planter, like a full body deer planter. No cracks or chips, but he does have some paint loss on him, as you can see. Cold paint, I know that you can buy in craft stores and touch up, so, I just thought he was super cute, and I know, again, that deer are very popular in our community. And he's a tall one, too. I wish I had a tape measure so I could measure him for you and give you some accurate descriptions and some accurate measurements. But unfortunately, I came unprepared. But he's absolutely fantastic. And if you happen to be interested in this awesome piece, oop, I got the price tag on his butt crack. Uh, he's $16, and he's number 35. 
$16, number 35, for the awesome Blue Derpy Deer Planter. Moving right along here, we've got this adorable little August boy figurine with a cute little pup behind him, and it looks like he's going fishing. Now, I'm not exactly sure who makes them. Oh, let me take my price tag off of here real quick so you guys can see the marking on them. So he could be a Nesco, he could be Yukago, he could be Napco, I really don't know. But he's in good shape. There's a little bit of wear to his cold paint, but there are no cracks or chips on him. He's absolutely adorable. I'm asking $8 for him, and he's number two. $8, number two, for the adorable August boy figuring with a pup. Now, this cute little dainty girl is a Joseph Original. She's from 1981. Now, I will tell you that her arm has been repaired, unfortunately, and I did not see that when I purchased her. But she's still an absolutely adorable piece, and you're only going to see the repair when you look at it up close. Now, this was made by the George Good Corp, which I guess must have been taken over. I don't know how that worked. But they, I guess they were manufactured by them, Joseph Original, in the early 80s. I just thought she would be great for spring or summer. Now, there is one tiny little spot here on the uh, ruffle of her dress. And I'm asking $10 for her, and she's number 39. $10, number 39 for the adorable little Joseph original girl with the red and gold flowers on her dress. Now this next piece would be so cool in a patriotic display. So this is a box of matches. Hold, let me adjust this for you. Well, but look at those graphics, the bright colors and everything on here. When I saw this in the store, I just could not resist it. And I knew her, that somebody would probably really like it. It does still have matches in it. And there's a whole bunch of them. I actually did test one out to see if it still works because there's a striker on the bottom. And lo and behold, they still light if you strike them the right way. But just the box itself is amazing. I, like I said, I love all the bright colors on here. Very 1960s, 1970s. I just couldn't resist it when I found it. And I'm asking $7 for it, and it's number 40. $7, number 40 for the awesome patriotic match box. So this is a really, really nice place setting, and it's by... Carol Creations. It's a five-piece tea set. I think it's all napkins, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, you get a rayon cloth and four rayon napkins. Look at that pretty floral design on here. This would be so great on a table, like kitchen table, or maybe even a dining room table for the springtime and summer. I absolutely love this. And when I say love, I mean I loved finding it so that you all could possibly purchase it from me. It is sealed, however, some of the seals are broken, as you can see, like right here. But still, such a nice set. I'm asking $16 for it, and it's number 23. $16, number 23 for the Carol Creation tea set, brand new, never used. And speaking of tea sets, I also have this one. This one's made by Majestic Creations in the United States. And it is a 52 by 70 tablecloth, along with the napkins. Almost looks like it has some embroidered detail on it. Again, this is new and sealed, never been opened. So if you are going to purchase this, you will be the first person to use it. Again, new and sealed linens you just can't go wrong with. And for this one, I'm asking $20 for it. $20 for the really nice Majestic Creations linen set, number 16. Moving right along here, we've got this really nice amber vase. Uh, it's, it's not, or actually, the further you go down on the vase, the more pointy it gets, but the 
hobnails, I guess you'd call them, are a little bit smooth. Well, they got a little bit of a point to them. I call it a cone vase, and it's got the ruffled edge on it. Would be great if you are a boho lover and you keep amber glass out all year round, or if you like to decorate with amber glass for the fall time. Again, this would be a fantastic piece to add to your fall decor. I'm asking only $8 for this piece, and it's number four. $8, number four, for the amber cone-shaped vase with the hobnails. Not pointy-pointy, but a little bit of a spike there. I have an adorable, adorable set of skunk salt and pepper shakers. Actually, I think I have them in the wrong way, or in the wrong direction here, because they're supposed to be looking at each other. Whoops. See? Supposed to be looking at each other. One has a top hat on, the other one is basically naked with no hat or any other clothes on. There are no cracks or chips to these pieces. Both have their stoppers, but because they are older, expect some light paint wear. I'm asking $8 for this set and it's number five. $8, number five for the adorable skunk salt and pepper shakers. All right, I have a really, really nice piece here. This is a ceramic cracker and cheese basket here. This was made by um, California, USA, Los Angeles Pottery Company. We all love our cheese and crackers and that is a great thing to serve at parties in the summertime and also in the spring. There are no cracks or chips to it and it can be yours for only $10. $10, number 20, for the awesome cracker and cheese basket. $10, number 20, if you are interested. Now this is a stunning piece of glass. This is a blue opalescent vase. I don't know who makes it. It could be Jefferson Northwood, it could be Dugan, it could be anything. But I absolutely love the opalescence and it comes down to like that clear icy blue color. You could have this out for summertime. You could put it out with Christmas stuff because it kind of looks like ice or like a glacier. I love glass like this. It's just absolutely fantastic. Now I do want to mention that on the bottom there is, there are some rough like flea bites on the here, but not anything that you'll notice when it's laying flat like this. And if you're interested in this piece, it's $15 and it's number 22. $15, number 22, for this insanely nice piece of blue glass. And by the way, there are no cracks or chips on the main part of the vase. It's an absolutely stunning piece. Alrighty. I do have some vintage bedding, and I've had these for quite a while. These are probably from the 60s, maybe, or the 70s. Purple striped... Uh, it's a full flat sheet, 81 by 104. New in the package. As you can see, the packaging has seen better days. There's some tears here and such all over it. But the linens themselves are new and unused. And if you happen to be interested in these awesome groovy purple sheets, they are $16 and it's number 14. $16, number 14 for the new old stock Dantrell Dan River sheet set. Okay, so the next item I'd like to share with you all is this really awesome canning jar. This is a Hazel Atlas piece and it's got the original lid and I think that it might even be milk glass on the inside. Yep, got a Hazel Atlas milk glass lid in there and you are going to be getting the thread that's in there so if you are a crafter or if you'd like to have this piece just for decor it's got the gridded pattern all over it except right here and I'm asking ten dollars for that and it's number 21 ten dollars number 21 for the hazel atlas jar with this with the string or the yarn think of it this way five dollars for the jar five dollars for all of the string in there. So that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. So I just recently hauled this. It is a beautiful Owens, Illinois hand-painted jar. It is marked on the bottom. It's got the classic Owens, Illinois 
mark that almost makes it look like Saturn. The paint is in pretty good condition on this jar. And it does open just fine, no issues. And I don't believe that the lid itself is in bad shape either. For this insanely nice hand-painted piece, I'm asking $8, and it's number 31. $8, number 31 for the beautifully hand-painted Owens, Illinois jar. So I have a nice Odagiri hand, or hand-painted, Odagiri walrus on, I guess, some icebergs music box. It does work. It plays You Are My Sunshine. No cracks or chips to the porcelain at all. And I'm asking $12 for that, and it's number 34. $12, number 34 for the really nice walrus Odagiri music box that plays You Are My Sunshine. I know that chained animals, let me just adjust my camera here, are very popular in our community as well. And I have a set of poodles that I think somebody out there will really enjoy. They are redware. As you can see, the bottom is kind of like this color of like a terracotta pot. And the paint on them is in really good condition. <laughs> Judging by the eyes, it almost looks like they've seen something that they probably shouldn't have. And for the mama poodle and her Pup Poodles, I'm asking $15, and it's number 37. $15, number 37 for the adorable Redware Puda Schnuda Mama Pup, Mom and Pup. All right, moving along, I have these really nice patriotic blue Fiesta Wear mugs. You're gonna be getting all five for one money. They are the ring handled. And here is the bottom. I think these are probably more modern, but they are still a really nice, uh, they are still really nice is what I was trying to say. And these would be great as like a tablescape for your dining room or your kitchen table. And like I said, this is a really nice patriotic blue color. And for the five mugs, by the way, no cracks or chips on any of them. They are perfect. I'm asking $30 for the five of them, so that is $6 a piece. You all know how expensive Fiesta wear is, so six bucks a mug is a fantastic price for these. So $30 or $6 a mug, number 10. $30, number 10 for the five really nice patriotic blue Fiesta mugs. All right, everyone, and we are down to the last five items of this drop sale. So this is a really awesome piece of new old stock merchandise. This is a Chadwick Compact, the tissue box and mirror, very mid-century. It's got the starbursts on it. It says it's for pocket, purse, desk, or car. As you can see, the packaging does have its fair share of wear and tear, but that is totally all right because this piece is probably from the 1960s. Judging by that girl's hair and her dress, I would definitely say this is 60s. I'm asking $8 for that, and it's number 32. $8, number 32, for the compact tissue box and mirror. Brand new in the packaging. I love the look of this geisha girl here. At least I think it's a geisha. It's some kind of oriental figure. This, to me, has a very mid-century look. I love it, I love the colors of her, I love her style. There's no markings to say where she was made, but she's probably a Japanese import, I would assume. Definitely, like I said, fits into the mid-century vibe, and I love her colors, I just think she screams 1950s. If you happen to be interested in her, she is $10 and she's number 30. $10, number 30 for the awesome Geisha. Is it a geisha? I don't know. Just some oriental figure. And by the way, there are no cracks or chips or repairs to her at all. She's in perfect condition. If I don't drop her or let her fall over. How awesome is this piece of pottery? It definitely gives me a deco vibe with the shape and the style of it. It's black with white splatter. 
No, wait, hold on. I always mess this up. My forensic files, my forensic files. Yes, my forensic files obsession and my forensics teacher in high school have taught me paint spatters, blood splatters. So it's spatter. So it's spattered with white, like splotches of paint. Here's the bottom. I don't think it's deco. It could be from the 50s or maybe even the 60s, but still a great shape. And how cool would this be with all of your Halloween stuff? You could do an assemblage in here, or you could just put it out with all of your pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and whatnot. And for this awesome piece, I'm asking $10, and it's number 17. $10, number 17, for the really awesome black with white spatters on it. All right, folks, last two items of the night. I've got this really cute planter, a very heavy duty planter, if I might add. I'm not exactly sure what kind of creature this is. I think it's probably a coyote or maybe even some kind of a dog. No cracks or chips to it. I don't see any damage. Again, nice heavy duty planter. And he can be yours for only $12. So $12, number 24 for this awesome, I think it's a dog planter. Okay, and my last item for the night, and I'm sorry if there are any clown haters in here, but I have these really awesome clown salt and pepper shakers. I know Amy B likes to make fun of me because I like clowns so much. Now, my dad doesn't like them either, and I'm sure he'll be happy that these have a new home. So they are wooden, and then the clown heads themselves are ceramic. I'm not exactly sure who makes them, but they are uber fantastic. If you happen to be interested in these salt and pepper shakers, it's $8 and it's number 13. $8, number 13 for the clown salt and pepper shakers. So there you have it, folks. That is everything I would like to offer to you all tonight. Make sure you hit the thumbs up video, subscribe if you haven't already. If you would like to purchase anything that I shared in this drop sale, please be sure to leave it in the comment section below. And if you have not purchased from me before, please make sure you send me your information. Otherwise, I cannot send you your invoice, nor can you get your items. So I will see you all very soon. Take care, everyone.